Congrats again on the new house. This is really incredible. You must be so proud. That is such a beautiful color. Ever since I was a kid, I've always dreamed of having a red Ferrari. Ugh. Hey? Huh? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? Well, I was just talking about how nice your Ferrari is. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm good. My friend Chris just bought a $20 million mansion in Malibu. He wants me to come and check it out, too. Ooh. That's nice. Just nice? This is incredible. His house is worth more than mine. OK. So look at this place. I wish I could afford an estate like this. It's way better than the place I live, that's for sure. But this is Chris's second house. Don't you see? His vacation home is worth more than my main home. Hey, look, I got to take this. Um, can I call you later? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me over. Sure. I just put Erica to sleep. Great. Thanks, Ashley. Is everything okay? Mm-hmm. You know Hank, right? Yeah, yeah. He just got this beautiful new estate in a gated community with this huge backyard and a pool and everything. Oh, you should have seen it. That sounds nice. Plus, he's got my dream car. Oh, I wish I had what he has. Well, you're not living so bad yourself. You have this amazing two-story home in a really nice neighborhood. I would much rather live here than in the little house I have in the valley. It takes me over an hour just to get here. Yeah. I just feel like if I had an estate like Hank's, oh, I would just feel so much happier, you know? Oh. No, I got it. You can head home before traffic hits. I'll see you tomorrow, Ashley. OK. Bye, Miss Adams. Ashley, oh. um, I just got to take out the trash, and then I'm done. Oh, thank you, Armani. And by the way, the toilet, it's, it won't flush again. I, I tried a plunger, but that didn't seem to help. No, not again. The last thing I want to do is get a plumber out here. Yeah. I hate this old house. Everything keeps breaking down. Last week, it was the heater. Now it's the toilet. Who knows what's going to go next? I'm just so over it. You think your house is old? Yeah. Well, then you should come and see my apartment. Well, at least you have a property manager that'll come out and fix everything. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm lucky if he even answers the phone. My dream has always been to own my own home one day like you. But at this rate, who knows if that'll ever happen. I mean, I can barely keep my lights on. I'm sorry. Did you want to borrow some money? Maybe that'll help a little. No, 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 no. It, it's okay. I just, I just need to find some more clients. That's all. 
Anyway, um, after I take out the trash, is it okay if I leave? Of course. Thank you, Amani. Yeah. See you next week? Yes. Yes, please. See you. No, 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 this can't be happening. <sighs> oh, no. Ugh, today, all days. Don't tell me the power went out again. We were in the middle of the game. I thought you said you paid the bill. I did, okay, I did. My payment must have bounced. I, I, don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, this is so annoying. Man, I hate this crappy apartment. Crappy. Yo, oh, Jordan, this place isn't crappy at all. You're joking, right? Come on, Griff. Who will want to live in a dump like this? Oh. Right. I completely forgot, man. I'm sorry, my bad. My bad, man. Nah, it's... It's cool. Anyway, uh, I should get going. It's getting late. I really hope you get your power back on soon. Griff, wait, hold on, man. My, my... It's fine, okay? I'll see you at school tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. What's going on with Griff? do something. Mom. Mm -hmm. How are we going to get our apartment back? I don't want to live in a car anymore. I'm trying, honey. I'm really trying. I know this is hard for you. Yeah. And I'll survive. The hardest part is taking a shower. I was going to use Jordan's, but I was too embarrassed. We could go to the beach. They have showers there. Would that work? Um, yeah. Okay. No. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, I think we're out of gas. I am so sorry, honey. It's all right. I never meant for you to live a life like this. Honestly, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to the gas station. And I'm gonna get some help. And, um, I'll be right back. You all right? 
I am literally the worst mom in the world. Don't say that. I'm sure that's not true. I lost our apartment. We're sleeping in the car. But I don't even have any gas. Well, things could always be worse. <laughs> no, they can't. I am at rock bottom. That's not true. At least you have a car. That's a blessing right there, to have a roof over your head. Do you sleep there? I'm sorry. I can't imagine how hard that must be. Don't be sorry. I'm happy with my life and with what I have. Even if I have to sleep on the street. You are. But how? For a long time, I was sad about my situation. And one day I read a quote that really stuck with me. It said, the reason most of us aren't happy is because we obsess so much over all the things that we don't have that we forget to appreciate the things that we do have. That's a beautiful quote, but I'm not trying to be mean at all. How can you be grateful for anything? I mean, you're homeless. I may not have a roof over my head, but I have a blanket and a pillow. I'm thankful for that. Wow, Chris, the new Malibu house. This view is incredible. So which one's yours? This one is. Oh, man. I would love to have something like this. Is everything all right? It was. Until I found out my neighbor got a new yacht. If only I had one. I'll be happy.